the real test of range. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So yesterday I made this tiny little device. Uh, I then went to downtown Columbia where there are a lot of bars and TVs to test it out. Uh, surprisingly, this thing works incredibly well. Now what does it do? Uh, well, I'll explain what it does and how it works. If you don't care, feel free to fast forward to where I actually show it working. But basically, uh, if you don't already know, TV remotes use IR lights and a specific flash sequence and uh, your TV remote is programmed for that brand of TV, so it's not going to work on all TVs, only that brand. I have programmed this with every single on and off code for more than over 200 different brands of TVs. When I press this one little button, it will actually flash a code a sequence of lights to tell the a TV to turn on or off then there is a few milliseconds in between that code before it moves on to the next and it can cycle through more than 200 different codes within 18 to 20 seconds now instead of using one LED I actually have 12 uh, that's because the more light the further your range is so I get some pretty good range out of this as you'll see in just a second now I can program more codes into it to do more things like change the volume and channels, but that would require uh, a larger microprocessor for increased storage space, and it would also require more buttons than just one. But I wanted to keep this small, simple, and compact, so there's that. The best part about it is, once again if you don't know, when you do anything with your TV remote, you can't actually see the light because it's an IR light. The human eye cannot see it. So whenever I press this button, I can't see any light coming out of it and no one around me can see it. The only thing that can see the light is cameras. And this flashing purple light, uh, the like I said, the different flashes is the different codes being transmitted with a small pause in between. But this flashing purple light, I can't see, no one else can see. You wouldn't be able to see it if you were here. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video. He just turned it on. <laughs> Look. Check this out. Thank you. 
that is that guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I have left a link for you in the description below to where you can check out how to make something like this. Uh, just a couple things to add. The one I made is not exactly like that one. I have modified mine. Also, if you do decide to make something like this, be courteous, don't be a dick. All the TVs are turned off, I did turn back on. I don't know if this is illegal or not, but I do know if you piss off enough people, bad things are probably going to happen. I only made this for fun in my free time uh, because I'm actually working towards something else, so this was for educational purposes only. And lastly, be aware that people are afraid of what they don't understand. I actually came across some people that thought I was trying to fry their TVs, when really this is just a fancy universal remote. That's going to do it, so thanks for watching. Stick around to see what I do next. I'll see you guys soon.